Imagine if I talk to you from back here the whole video. Hey, Editing Jazz, can you zoom me in? Hello? Hello? Editing Jazz. Jasmine! Oh, shoot, my bad. My bad, shawty, let me get You said zoom, zoom in. Okay. What um, do I pay you for? You don't, you don't pay me at all. And now we know why. I thought it was because you were broken and unemployed. What's up guys, it's Jasmine and it's a new year. I'm late, I know, yes, but I'm here, right? Seeing where you wanna be in life can be your biggest motivator and your biggest tease. Something I tend to do is I'll make a plan or a vision board, etc., of where I wanna be. And then I get so caught up in where I wanna be that I forget about the journey. For example, YouTube. I've been so caught up in trying to grow this platform for years that eventually I started to get caught up in an unhealthy obsession with numbers and stats and uh, why am I not growing? Why are they growing faster than me? I only have this many subscribers and this much watch time and why is nobody liking my videos? Nobody's commenting and it's overwhelming. <laughs> now I'm not saying that being goal oriented is bad because it's not. Being goal oriented gives you an idea of where you want to be and a, a place to direct your energy and your focus, which is great. Being too goal oriented, however, can lead you to feeling discouraged, dissatisfied, and in my case, have increased anxiety over where you aren't and what you don't have. So how do we change that? We zoom in and we focus on the journey. Focus on what you can do today to get where you wanna be tomorrow. If you're goal oriented, your perception might look a little like this. You mean outside? You see all the steps you need to take and the milestones you need to hit to get to your goal and it might look a little overwhelming. And don't even get me started on when you start focusing on not only your calendar, but what other people's calendars look like and what your calendar looks like compared to their calendar and if they reach their goals faster than your goals and why haven't I even gotten to where they are and I'm the same age as them and yeah, let's just bring it back in, zoom it in, zoom it in, zoom it in. That stuff, it's not important. What matters is your journey, what you can do with what you have today, and the rest will take care of itself tomorrow. Zoom in, zoom in. Wait, is it, hey, okay, okay. Now you're being childish. So that's I'm for saying I don't be doing nothing. That's for saying I don't be doing nothing. That's for saying I don't be doing nothing. Who please? don't do nothing now? Thank you. You still broke. This you is why I don't broke. pay you. You still broke. Goodness. Reel it back in. Okay, zoom it in to today. Doesn't that look so much better? There's a lot less stuff to do. It's a lot more strategic. So now that we're here, chip away at your goal in reasonable pieces. Okay, there's no point in zooming in if you're gonna crunch months, weeks, maybe years worth of hard work into one day or one week. Space it out so that you're not stressed out and burnt out by the time you reach your goal. You wanna enjoy arriving to your goal instead of feel so tired that you can't enjoy it. I'm gonna leave you with this and I hope it brings all of this into a perfect summary okay a wise man once said what did he say <laughs> a wise man once said searching for today instead i found tomorrow and i put that right back man i'll see what i find tomorrow lil wayne come on guys y'all should know this lil wayne nightmares at the bottom no okay um a wiser and much holier man once said, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Jesus. 
literally it was Jesus. One of the last things I want to close out with is just to remember how far you've come because just because we're here today doesn't mean that we, there was nothing before this. Remember all of this that you had to go through before you got here, that stuff matters. Pat yourself on the back for that stuff. When you start to feel discouraged about how far you have left to go, remember how far you came. That's it for today's video, guys. I'm a little rusty, you know. I'm back with the straight hair. I pulled out the curly wig just for the, you know, for the dramatic effect last week. Today's video is up a little bit late. Your girl is doing her master's degree right now. Woo woo, it's my second full week. My first week started on Thursday, but it's the first full week. So this video is up a little bit later than usual, but as soon as I get a good rhythm of my schoolwork, I will be posting back on Wednesdays. If I don't post on Wednesday, I post on Saturday. If you want some 20s survival guide content, some I'm a young adult and I don't know what to do with my life content, some I'm in school and I feel like I'm behind everybody else, some I'm single and I'm trying to figure out how to date, some I'm broke and I'm trying to figure out how to get a job content, some I need new friends, some I have old friends that suck, some I don't have friends at all content, just figuring out life in general content, then go ahead and subscribe. You probably unsubscribed because of all that I just did, but I'm sorry. Please subscribe again. I won't do it again. I promise. But join the fam. My subscribers call me Jazz. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this with somebody you care about. And I will be back next time with the opposite. Zoom out. We'll see what that one's about, but you gotta subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Wish me luck with this master's degree because they're trying to kill me. Okay, bye. Yes, I see you. You see me. <laughs> this is just a test video because the video I you guys just sat there and watched. The quality, I don't like the quality. I put it on 1080p. No, I put it on 1280 720p, which is lower resolution, but there's more frames per second, which I was assuming was going to make it look crisper. But I'm editing that video and I'm like, why it look like that? Maybe I just didn't have enough lighting, but typically 60 frames per second looks way better. So, because I usually film in 30 frames per second and I've been not satisfied with the quality, but this is just a test. Ignore this part of the video. I'm still in editing jazz mode, as you can see. Don't mind me, but I just want to, if, if I leave this in the, if this is at the end of the video, this is the part where I disclaim that I am so sorry for the quality of this video. It won't happen again. We'll figure this out. Okay, bye.